Welcome. Let's explore the issue of figuring out the equation of a line. Now, most people think I'm going to head to the formula y equals mx plus b, but I'm just going to say out front, that is the hard way to think about the equation of a line. Way too hard, and I wish we didn't emphasize this so to our younger students. So uh, I'm going to show a simpler approach for an equation of a line. But before I get there, let's be very clear on what we choose to believe about straight lines. Now, what's the issue here? Well, there's a problem. Straight is a troublesome notion, and when you take a course in geometry, you realize we don't really know what we mean by that. But we have some idea in our heads. So a straight line to us is some object with the property that if I choose a point on this object, this, this curve, and I take some horizontal run, and I match with that some rise to get back on the line, we like to believe that the ratio rise over run is going to be the same value no matter where we do this. And this, con this the concept rise over run is called slope. So we like to believe this is a constant value. So a, a line to us means we have some object that we choose to believe has the property that wherever I do rise and run, no matter how big, how small, at which point on the line, rise over run is going to be the same value. Well, given that belief, that is, a line is an object with its rise over run, slope is constant, it's a piece of cake to write down the equation of a line. Now, maybe I should explain what I mean by an equation as well. But to do that, let me give a, a simple example. So here's a line. And suppose I'm very kind to us, and I will tell you that the slope of this line, that the rise of the run, is always the value 3. And I'll also tell you that this line happens to go through the point 2, 4. What do I mean by an equation? Well, an equation is any formula that must be true about any other point, which I'll be rather general, call it x, y, for that point to be on the line. Well, if I've given this construct and given what we believe, slope is constant, that if I was to work out the run and the rise between these two points, I should have the value 3 no matter what. That's a way to get a formula. Well, let's go. Let's, what is this rise? Well, currently, this is y inches up compared to 4 inches up, so this rise is y minus 4. Currently, this run goes between the value of 2 inches and x inches. This run is the difference, x minus 2. So here's an equation. y minus 4 over x minus 2 must be 3. Done. There's the equation of the line. No more work. Stop right there. We're finished. Now, some people might complain to me. Um, that looks very complicated. Yeah, maybe it's complicated. Sure. But it is a formula, nonetheless, that must be true for any point that's on the line. I've got one extra comment to make in a moment. But... I'm going to stop right here with this formula and say this is enough to do any work I'd like to do for hereafter. For example, some people might ask a question like, is 3, 7 on this line? A little scrawly, sorry about that. Piece of cake, let's check. All we have to do is put in x equals 3, y equals 7, and see if it works. Put in 7. So 7 minus 4, put in x equals 3, 3 minus 2, and I get 3 over 1, which is 3. It checks out. Yes, the point 3, 7 is on the line. Um, is the point, say, I don't know, let's do a different point. Is the point 10, 28 on this line? Whoops, where's my pen? 10, 28. Well, let's check. Put in 28. 28 minus 4 is 24. Put in 10. 6 minus 4 is 4. 24 over 4, I'm afraid, is not 3. That point is not on the line. Uh, what's the y-intercept? For this line. Piece of cake. When I ask for the y-intercept, I'm all, all I'm asking for is a place where x is 0. Let's put it in. y minus 4 over 0 minus 2 must equal 3. A little bit of algebra. y minus 4 must be uh, negative 6. y must be negative 2. There's the, there's the y-intercept. Do I want the x-intercept as well? Sure, just put in y equals 0. So any question I'd like to ask, I can answer with this particular form of the equation of the line. Now, there is one problem I do admit with this particular format that I cannot put the point x equals 2, y equals 4 into this formula itself. For example, let's do that. Clearly, the point 2, 4 is on the line. If I do that, if I put x equals 2, I get 0 on the bottom. And I put y equals 4, I get 0 on the top. And 0 divided by 0 is a tad troublesome. It's not clear that would equal 3. If I have a whole video on dividing by 0. So for this reason, some teachers will actually insist I do a tiny piece of algebra on this. Let's multiply each side by this denominator, x minus 2. So the left-hand side just becomes y minus 4 all by itself, and the right-hand side becomes x minus 2. So some people prefer to write that for the equation of the line. 
Now it's safe to put in x equals 2 and y equals 4. Um, tiny piece of detail. Uh, for my younger students, I don't bother doing this. For older students, I would. It all depends on my audience. Piece of cake. Um, so as another example, let's uh, figure out a formula for the equation of a line of this guy. So let me draw a line. Whoops, where's my pen gone? Suppose I tell you it goes through the point 100, 100, and also goes through the point 203, 174. Quick, give me the equation of this line. Well, I choose to focus on x minus 100, uh, 100, 100, so I know my equation of my line is going to begin y minus 100, x minus 100 is the slope. <gasps> but I haven't given you the slope. Well, to work out the slope, I've got these two points. I've got a, um, I'm going to do a rise of a run between 203,174 and 100, 100. Difference of the y values, the rise is 74. Difference of the x values is 103. Bingo. There's the equation of my line. I'm done. This is a wonderful technique. One can check. I could also rewrite the equation of this line as y minus 174 over x minus 203 is the same slope, 174 over 103. And a little exercise in algebra shows that these two equations are the same. But in terms of speed, efficiency, and conceptual understanding, this being the equation of the line is a piece of cake, and I'm done. And this is the only way I ever write lines for myself, unless I want to worry about the denominator issue, just quickly pop it up on the other side, no problem. All right, thanks very much.